Uh, the very last ball of the third day with the match beautifully poised is played away safely by Andrew Jones so the day ends with New Zealand on 39 for 3 a further 88 runs needed by New Zealand Pakistan looking for 7 wickets tomorrow the fourth day will start and finish this match so another destructive spell from Wazi Makram has reduced New Zealand to 39 for 3 off the 20 overs. Great bat from Hartland, the openers just going for 8 apiece. Danny Morrison out for a duck. Andrew Jones, a good man to have in a crisis there. He's 11 not out. As for the Pakistani bowling figures, a bit of a surprise that Walker was only given a couple of overs. But that very powerful spell from Wazi Makram, 3 for 15 off 10 overs. So there's plenty of cricket to be played before this test match is over. I hope you can join us on One World of... Thanks for joining us on One World of Sport in Hamilton for this fourth day coverage of the one-off test between New Zealand and Pakistan. We lost the first session because of rain, so play started after an early lunch at 20 to 1. New Zealand 39 for 3, needing another 88 to win. Pakistan another 7 wickets. Andrew Jones and Adam Ferrari, the batsmen, facing the onslaught from Waka Yunus and Wazi Makram. What a tense position here for the start of the fourth day's play. Play delayed until 12.40. And now it's Wazi Makram to bowl to Adam Perori. Yep. And the first runs of the day. Every run precious, the end of the first over. It's 40 for three. Oh, yes. Yes. Pulled through. Jones has a chance for Perori to... Very close. Jones said yes very early. And that's short two and flicked off down to fine leg. There's a run saver down there. And it's leg bars. And Bob, that is a worry for the Pakistan bowlers and their fielders though, isn't it? Because there's so few runs available that extra's now a top score at 15 with Jones on a 30. Lovely shot from Perori. And my word, they're running like the wind there. Perori coming through for the third. Yep. Now Perori plays down to third man. That comes down there. So there's the 54 New Zealand. They need 127. The first 50 has taken them three wickets. But they've moved the score along these two from 32 to 50. 18 precious runs for New Zealand. Full toss. Jones, or oh, a bit of hesitation. And Jones would have been out by a mile. I think he gave up. Just hoped that it didn't hit the stumps. Not worth taking any risk. There is uh, Jones playing that one on the left side and made that had a shy at the stumps. If it had hit, he, Jones would have gone. Miles away. That's the stump vision. Yeah. Beautifully whipped away off his toes. Fieldsman is after it, can't catch it. Four runs. Beautifully timed. And uh, Perori takes a boundary. Well, we seem to pick that up very late but took evasive action that was an absolute vicious delivery nearly got his helmet that is what already does well to get out of that line of that delivery I suppose at 135 k's it's fair enough that he picks it up fairly late magnificent career average Andrew Jones hasn't been in the runs in uh, in recent times, but looking much more confident in this inning. 16 not out. That's a characteristic shot of Jones clipping it away backward a point. And uh, there'll be two runs for him. Oh, 
that was a beauty too and Jones was able to get down on it and uh, Javid me and dad almost threw the stumps down me and dad actually fashioned the throw down to the bowler's end but instead threw it at the good swinging yorker to Jones as well to dig it out <laughs> and there's me and dad desperate for wicket and a shy at the stumps Andrew Jones having a bit of a dream. Now look, he's looking one way and throws the other. <laughs> and doesn't miss by too much. <laughs> Goodness me. <laughs> that was a sort of tricky sort of uh, typical Javed Miedad. Well, <laughs> needing 66 to win this match now. And still those seven wickets in hand. Ideal conditions for cricket. There's nice little learnings in the first innings too from Adam Perori. Plays that one away confidently. You'll have time for a couple here. Wakar Yunus is the fieldsman. That was uh, rather a tame delivery, really, from Wasim Akram. But out here in the middle, it's pretty tense stuff. New Zealand have done well this morning. They haven't lost a wicket. This man, Andrew Jones, a key player. Oh, he's caught! Goodness me, what a catch! <laughs> That was an incredible catch. It just flew, and it was a real reflex action. Well, an unbelievable catch. Andrew Jones hit that right in the meat of the bat, and Mushtabar was quick enough to hold on to that sharp chance at short forward square. And really, as you're saying, John, New Zealand looking really good, but that blow has just struck at the wrong time. So New Zealand lose Andrew Jones 65 for four. Well, Rod Latham coming out to take the place of Andrew Jones, and goodness me, that was an incredible catch. Mushtaba had a lot of trouble getting that name out, Jeff. No, you certainly did. Uh, I'll tell you what, that was uh, real reflexes, that one. And you've got to say Andrew Jones is very stiff, really. I mean, most times, I'd say oh. 99 times out of 100, that certainly would not have been caught, and it would have been runs. Well, exactly, Jeff. Well, that was right off the middle of the bat. He clipped it away, and how he picked it up, it, it wasn't straight into the stomach either. Sometimes you can sort of fold over and pick those ones up with a bit of luck. But he caught it cleanly in two hands. Yeah, right. So, first ball for Rod Latham. Facing Waka Yunus. Oh, it's hit on the pad. That's run past the keeper and down for a bye. He's looking for a second, but he won't get it. I think the appeal was a bit ambitious. sort of a shot there's a bit of uh, misunderstanding between the batsmen Adam Rory was keen on the idea of a run but Rod Latham said no the ball moving in the air from Wakar and Rod Latham gonna play off the back foot as you say a bit ambitious in fact uh, that was a chance yeah, that, look, that didn't hit the ground did it no exactly got... from the umpire but Adam Perori is departing so there's no question about it he got an edge and it's gone through to the keeper Rashid so New Zealand in further trouble they've lost their fifth wicket this man Perori the keeper on his way there's this one up Macram wide of off stump but the angle's pretty good there and Perori playing with an open face bat they're trying to run it down through the gully gets an edge through the gully gets an edge and it's taken by Rashid just above the ground, and uh, New Zealand lose their fifth wicket. So further trouble for New Zealand. Adam Perori on his way, 67 for five. All of a sudden, we've got two men in on naught, and uh, New Zealand, 67 for five. Let's have another look at the Perori dismissal. Yes, Perori was playing pretty well. His technique was working, and um, just see the Pakistani... Bowler's getting the ball to swing a bit more this morning. And there's Rashid taking that, ch that ca chance from Perori. Yes, he took it well. No question about it. A pretty uh, thick edge. There's that uh, back support of Wazi Makram under the jersey. Yep, Ken Rutherford underway. Good looking shot. No real power, but well timed. And he'll pick up two. Every run counts here. This is. Uh, Pretty tight stuff all of a sudden, isn't it, Jeff? Well, we always had the feeling it might be tight all the way, and we see the New Zealand captain uh, starting off very well there. That was a good shot. 
middle of the bat, watching the ball, keeping his head still. And uh, New Zealand City need their captain to uh, lead from the front here and lead them through to victory. Oh, it's bold! What a superb delivery. The middle stump uprooted. A big in-swinging Yorker beats the bat of Rod Latham and New Zealand in further trouble. Well, what a magnificent delivery again from Waka Yunus. Look at that. Magnificent late in-swinger. And the off, sorry, the middle peg is uh, uprooted. And they're delighted. And so they should be. Now the game is really uh, in the balance. Yeah, this is nerve-wracking stuff. Rod Latham on his way, 71 for six. Waka Yunus, what a deadly delivery that one was. It was his 99th wicket as well in test cricket. Well, there's the replay and Rod Latham is beaten for swing and pace and John what a difference it is when the ball is moving in the air I mean how much more difficult it is at this sort of pace oh, for these yeah. men to play that was a cracker it just was so quick certainly Rod Latham played it from the crease as we see there uh, and I obviously feel the way to play would have been to get onto the front foot but it's a very difficult situation when uh, you've got someone of Walker's pace coming down at you and, and we're only looking in, in the right techniques for saying that that um, our, our uh, Bank of New Zealand stump vision, I don't think, is in great nick at the moment either, Jeff. He copped it full on there. Goodness me, he's lucky he can still see. A bit grim for New Zealand at the moment, but because of the night watchman situation, still uh, uh, Deepak Patel and Murphy Sewer to come, and Michael Owens. Of course, the two that are out there at the moment. And there's a run here. It's a leak by, in fact. But they all count. They're all like gold. And not enough slips behind to stop Harris getting off the mark. But I suppose in this position, with uh, so much at stake, they really have to try and keep going as long as they can. Rutherford hitting behind point. A chase for Eunice. And two runs for Ken Rutherford. and getting a short single and overthrows one more to the total every run vital at this stage so a quick one turns into a comfortable two pakistan 78 for six yeah. oh, God. good shot down to it off it'll go all the way and new zealand 82 for six remember the target 127 lot difference on these two now and rather for then Chris Harris in the previous over we saw a delightful full-blooded off drive of Akram by Chris Harris Rutherford hooks gets plenty on it that'll be four runs New Zealand batsman taking risks. The bowler did the chasing. Masi Makram in his follow through as Chris Harris attempts to run and a shy the stumps and nearly hit it. Close call for Ken Rutherford there. There's the ball coming. Yes, had he hit, I think Rutherford would have been shorter, right? But follow through. He's gone. Rutherford is out. That is an excellent catch. And the New Zealand captain is gone. And New Zealand are 88 for seven. Good tactics there by Wazi Makram. Uh, changing the trajectory of the deli that delivery. Uh, the ball pitched outside the off stump. Moving away from Rutherford. Uh, he pays the prize for fishing outside the off stump. Edges that one in the second slip to Amish Sohel. The slip fielder who dropped two catches in the first innings. And so, Pakistan once again back in the driving seat. Still 39 runs away. 
And the captain is out. And here is the dismissal of Ken Rutherford. There is nibbling outside the stump. Goes wide off the right hand of Amish Sohail who dives. Takes it well. Both handed. Oh, we get to Yorker. So, like it's captain, David Miadad. Has taken a big gamble, of course, of keeping these two on and has been rewarded. Nice bowling. Harris gets cleaned out. And New Zealand lose their eighth wicket at 88. 100 test wickets for Wakao Yunus. And here is the price you pay, playing off the back foot of a swinging delivery from a man who can bowl faster than anybody else. 88 for 8, New Zealand. And really this has been a superb exhibition of pace bowling by Waka Yunus and Wasi Makram. Here is Harris's Super, dismissal. Super piece of bowling and that is Waka Yunus's 100th test victim. Chris Harris, and no wonder he is jubilant. Well controlled swinging delivery and forces Chris Harris on the back foot. And hundredth wicket of Akar Yunus. for nine good delivery that one good length versus Su uh, Sua no clue about that steps in right in front of the wicket and Steve Dunn raises his finger there was no doubt in his mind there so the disasters continue for New Zealand 88 for nine but it seems that all is just about lost for New Zealand however there's one wicket left and Jeff Crow a sorry tale for New Zealand this morning, but uh, we can't take anything away from the Pakistani quicks. No, they've been absolutely fantastic. Uh, they've got the ball to swing in the air, and that's really been the difference in a way, and also the pace they bowl at. We've seen some fantastic fast bowling. Wazi Makra. Tipak Patel. And the field is pushed back because, of course, Michael Owens, the number 11, is uh, not what you'd call a great batsman, I don't suppose. And not going to be too easy for him. Bowls so straight, he makes you play. If you miss, you're in trouble, aren't you? Yes, but the tail enders actually, when the ball is bowled straight, they often can hit the ball, don't they, really? And uh, when it is wide, they tend to miss it. So hopefully he can hang in there and uh, just help New Zealand's cause and give them that slight hope of victory. Oh, that's an interesting shot. And he'll get a run. Only one, Dipak Patel. So the score creeps up. Oh, another big Yorker, but uh, this time this runs for Dipak Patel. Didn't quite go where he intended, but that doesn't matter. He picks up two anyway. Ball struck on the pad, allowed a peel, but that was going down leg side. They pick up a run. allowed appeal but that was going down leg side they pick up a run a leg by in fact umpire Steve Dunn signals the run and uh, that's the end of another over 92 for 9 New Zealand need 35 to win with Wazi Makram to bowl his 22nd over in this innings already has 5 for 44 Waka Yunus, four for 22. Well, nobody ever thought it was going to be easy, Peter, but it's turned out to be a real struggle, this game, as far as New Zealand are concerned. They looked so good when Jones and Rory had decreased this morning. It's fallen apart of late. Look at that scoreboard there. Jones, top scoring with 19. 
It's in the air, it's dropped. Amos Ahail. Well, despair for Wazi Makram. Patel dropped on three. As we're seeing here, this is the ball that typical left Amos ball going across the right. Hander, orthodox catch, should have been taken. He hasn't had a good game, Sahal, has he? Didn't make many runs in the contest. Faced ten balls, has dropped two catches. Me and Dad will not be happy. And that's the run that they will take, because that's the fifth ball of the over. So one for Owens to see out. And it moves up to 93 for nine. But it's not this time. Wacker Eunice has done it. And the test match is over with Deepak Patel bowled by Wacker Eunice for four. Owens is not out, no score. So Pakistan have won this test match, this one-off test match. They've come from nowhere to win it on the last day, a day in which New Zealand started needing 88 runs, Pakistan seven wickets. And Pakistan have come through it winning the test match by 33 runs and a fantastic fast bowling performance from the great fast bowlers of Pakistan, Wacker Yunus and Wazi Makram. New Zealand starting the day at 39 for three. Jones and Perori took the score through to 65, but from there New Zealand lost their last seven wickets for 28, all out for 93, falling 33 runs short. Looking at the Pakistani bowling figures, a marathon effort by Wazi Makram and Waki Yunus, both showing great stamina and finishing with marvellous figures, five wickets apiece. Wazi Makram, the man of the match. After the match, we spoke with a delighted Javed Dad. He was very confident if he could have two, three early wickets. But 127, it wasn't enough for Mushtaq to come straight away. We were just, uh, because we have a two great fast bowlers, if they won't success, then obviously I would have to try Mushtaq Ahmed, but one stage I asked Mushtaq when uh, they were three down, Jonesy and uh, Pada was betting. I asked uh, Mushi to get loose. I'm going to uh, bring you from other end and I told Vakar as well. But then I changed my mind and I just went to Wiki. I said, look, I have a feeling you might get wicked on this over. And he came back and he got the Jones on the same, uh, I think, on the second ball. As a captain, you often operate on those sorts of feelings? Yes, sometimes you get feeling, you know, because uh, um, I'm a trier. I always try. I don't uh, leave anything unless I try. And obviously, sometimes you get paid off and sometimes uh, it goes the other way. Sometimes you surprise us as well. Yesterday, we fully expected you to open with Wazim and Waka, and yet you opened with Akib. Um, yes, uh, one stage was like that. But uh, obviously, what I was thinking, because I know uh, uh, Akib Yavid, he's also a uh, very good bowler. And obviously, he lost a bit uh, concentration, and he's been, you know, because of his, his injury. He had some problem in Australia on his back. Since that, he's a bit, uh, bit nervous. But obviously, in the second inning, I thought I must try, because he's a very good new bowler too. He used the new ball very well. And he bowled well, seven overs, and obviously we wanted to attack from one end. And everything was paid off. Have you ever seen Wazim and Waka bowl as well as that together? Yes, in England they bowled uh, equally good uh, uh, when we won the series against England in England. And uh, because they, they two uh, are a very good combination. One is left, uh, left arm and one is right arm. And obviously we got the spinner as well, but uh, this, especially this particular test match, you could see they have been bowling for last three hours or four hours continuously. And especially Wasim Akram, he bowled uh, unchanged. He bowled, I think, 22, 23 overs, gave 45 runs, took five wickets. So I think it's, uh, nobody could give better performance uh, than this. Javed, me and Dad, the winning captain, New Zealand succumbing to as fine a display of fast bowling as you could hope to see. Pakistan winning by 33 runs. That's it from Hamilton. Thanks for being with us on One World of Sport.